hello and welcome to Budget Fishing. Um, little video today, uh, I'm here at Avalon Fisheries in Somerset uh, doing a 24 hour stint on Heath Lake. Uh, Heath Lake is £23 I think it was for the 24 hours, um, fishing from midday to midday. Um, so yeah, got here at 12 o'clock set up uh, about half past 12, one o'clock, and it's now nearly half past three. A couple of knocks so far, nothing really to write home about. Um, it's absolutely lashing it down. A uh, guy a couple of swims up from me had one of 19 pound four ounces earlier, a uh, lovely common. Um, fish here go up to around about the 30 pound mark. Um, it's very, very well laid out. There's 16 pegs, it's a couple of acres inside basically split down the middle by two islands um, with a channel in front of it. I'll just turn it round, as you can see, probably here it's absolutely lashing it down so I'm not going to go outside at the moment. But as you can see, I'm lucky enough to have the swim. I'm on swim number four, which is in between the two islands. Um, I currently have one rod uh, just out over here and the other rod is just out, I don't know if you can see it, sort of over over there, um, very very lovely little place, each swim has a um, wooden recess for you to pitch a bivvy up in so you're not crossing the, um, the path for people to walk by, um, but yeah, we will see what happens over the next, uh, well, the remainder of this 24 hour session. Hopefully we'll get a couple of bites, uh, a couple of fish. I'll hopefully be able to film a few of the bits and pieces whilst uh, we're going on um, and give you a rough idea of what I'm doing if and when we uh, anything gets caught. Um, currently sat inside the bivvy. Now, I haven't spoken about the bivvy that I've got. Um, for those of you who are looking for an entry-level bivvy, this is a two-man, um, it's the GRC Defender two-man bivvy. Uh, it costs about 80, 90 quid off of fishdeal.co.uk. Took about six or seven days to turn up. Uh, got this over the winter months. Um, had it out a few times now this year. Uh, very, very impressed with it. The only uh, disappointment I've got is it doesn't have a peak. Whilst it is like this, um, the peak would have been perfect so I could sort of um, have the door open and not have water coming in. I've not got the ground sheet down at the moment because the ground was very wet underfoot. There was a bit of a muddy patch as I came in from the car park um, and I didn't want to get the bivvy absolutely um, minging. So the NGT bite alarm light is up on the uh, on the roof. Um, it's doing its job. As you've seen, the rods are out, uh, all set. Nothing complicated with the tactics using so far. I've got a standard... Um, running lead on a quick release clip um, with a hair rig attached and that's got a halibut pellet and a fake bit of corn on the end and that was doing the trick over at top but last time I was out. The other one is running a pop-up CC more boily um, with the glug if you watch the other video with the day session um, with the session pack that uh, I acquired that is uh, the stuff from there. Um, that's running an inline lead onto a hair um, with that element and a, that had a string of um, freebies attached to it. So far, like I said, right hand rods had a couple of knocks, um, but nothing to write home about so far. So uh, fingers crossed it won't be long before we get a couple of fish. It's still raining. Uh, I think it's meant to rain until about 10 o'clock tonight, which will um, make everything nice and soggy and fun. Um, just thought I'd run through a couple of things that uh, I bring with me to keep myself as comfortable as possible when you're doing these sort of stints, even in these uh, glorious weather uh, conditions. Um, <clears throat> first thing first is my bed chair. Um, I'm using an NGT specimen. Obviously with being a two-man bivvy, as you can see, it, it's a decent size. It takes up a half decent chunk within the... Um, in the bivvy itself. With this uh, bed chair it is not going to be a two-man bivvy, it is a one-man bivvy with lots of space. Um, tonight I will be tucked up in the uh, five season sleeping bag from NGT as well. Um, I bought the bed chair off of eBay with the sleeping bag for around about 125-130 quid. Um, last 
session I'd done with uh, down at Topper Manor. It was about two degrees, one degree at night. Um, that sleeping bag is brilliant. Um, they're pricey on their own, obviously as a combination. Happy days, it makes it a little bit more uh, bearable and easier to swallow. Um, my only gripe with a sleeping bag is, as you can see, it's not the smallest thing in the world, but you wouldn't expect it to be for five seasons. It is nearly impossible to try and stuff it back into the bag once it's out. It's a good 10, 15 minute job of wrestling it, wrapping it, pushing it, pulling it and everything in between. Um, other things that I like to take with me, um, it doesn't have to cost the earth obviously to do a 24 hour session. I've got a typical little blue um, camping stove with a couple of gas casters you get from Argos or somewhere like that. There's various other bits and pieces, various uh, uh, Ridge Monkey I think do a, a small fold up one which is perfect for fishing. Um, a few of the other manufacturers will do something similar but um, I don't think you can go too far wrong with an Argos camping stove to be honest with you. Um, got a pack of bacon that I got earlier on, a packet of bread rolls, a um, couple of pork steaks for dinner tonight, which I'll have with the in the bread rolls. Nothing too complicated, nothing too fancy, um, just nice and easy, um, hearty food for whilst I'm here. Um, but yeah, the, um, you all, you'll probably want something to charge your phone up, so uh, that NGT Bivy Light and Power Bank will do about one to slash two phone charges and be a Bivy Light as well. Um, it's okay for a 24 hour session, but for longer sessions than that, I would want something a little bit more substantial. Um, but yeah, I've got a, I picked up the other day a Ridge Monkey water barrel, um, as you can see, which is full up. Um, it comes with uh, the lid, two lids on there. Inside that lid was a tap screwed to it, um, and that's got a normal lid on it. It's a 10 litre uh, water butt, which, and that got me 19 quid from a local tackle shop. Um, when you want water and everything on the bank, if you haven't got something like that, you're going to spend four or five quid on water every trip. So it doesn't take long and it's paid for itself four or five trips and you've uh, more than covered the cost on that one. Um, but yeah, I've got all my baits. Um, I've got toilet roll because, let's face it, nobody wants to be caught short without any bog roll. Um, spare pair of underwear toothbrush, um, I'm wearing a hoodie, t-shirt, I've got this fleecy jacket, um, spare pair of trousers just in case you get wet. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it doesn't have to be a complicated thing to go off and do a night session. Um, it might seem a lot at first, but uh, it doesn't have to be a huge amount. So, um, fingers crossed, the uh, next part of the video will have a fish, but uh, the way things are going, um, if the rain doesn't ease up, I'm quite happy to stay inside the bivvy. Anyway. Let's see what happens next. So, time now, 10 past six. Redone the rods at uh, about four o'clock and nothing. It has eased up when, with regards to the rain, but it's still very, very quiet. Seen one come out uh, further on down the lake at 19.4. Um, nice looking fish, lovely common, um, but at the moment, very, very quiet with nothing showing. Um, and uh, just trying to stay out of the rain. Um, fingers crossed, we're at that sort of time of the afternoon now where it's, um, we'll hopefully start to see some bites. Um, and if they're not gonna start biting, I'm gonna start cooking and biting myself. Um, yeah, here's for the next one. Hopefully the, uh, there'll be a fish to show. 20 to seven, still no joy. Uh, currently not raining though, as you can uh, see. A lot better. Well, just started raining again. Dinner is well and truly on the go. Uh, tonight's pork loin steaks in uh, Piri Piri. So happy days. Bacon sarnie for tomorrow morning. Um, but yeah, very very quiet so far. Um, just reset the rods. So fingers crossed it won't be long and we'll be. Um, I hope to God there's going to be a fish to show. Uh, fingers crossed. Anyway, bite time for me. So, quarter to ten at night, and as you can see from the uh, condensation coming out of my mouth, it is very, very cold. Uh, it's been wet all day, and still no fish. I've changed tactics, I've moved spots. I've gone to showing fish, but still nothing. 
fingers crossed if I don't get much sleep tonight because they still on the feed. However, I won't complain if they uh, don't get me out of my sleeping bag tonight. Um, I don't know what else to say at the moment, apart from uh, I'm going to bed, as it is bloody Baltic. So, two o'clock in the morning. And I've just been woken up. One and a half pound bar of gold. Lovely looking fish. As you can see, perfect condition. I shall now get her back and get back to sleep because it is bloody freezing. Morning. It is now quarter past seven in the morning. Um, just got up, just about to sort the lots out. Um, had a second one last night. It's about half past three. Uh, pretty much identical to the one that you've just seen. Um, so didn't bother doing anything with that apart from uh, unhooking it, getting it back and getting back into my pit. Um, got to admit it was pretty bloody cold last night. I think it meant to have hit something like two degrees. Um, so yeah, it was. Uh, I was in back in my pit as quickly as I could be. Um, just going to reset the rods now this morning. Fingers crossed we'll get something uh, happen this morning before the time is up. Um, but I've got to admit, if you look out here, you will see what a lovely morning it is. It is absolutely glorious. So, um, let's get the rods back out and um, see what we can do with the rest of the day. So, I thought I would share with you the rig that is doing the damage for me here at the moment. Um, it's quite funny when you watch all these YouTube videos with what people are using and how complicated they can be. Um, I've also had people turn around and question how simple uh, mine have been and yet I have been there catching fish. So th let's just go as simple as we possibly can because it has been working. Um, so what we have here is about uh, six to eight inches of uh, a fox pre-tied hair rig. Um, I have tied my own but uh, this was the first one I grabbed out yesterday. Um, so yeah, just grabbed one of them nice and sharp um, with bog standard hair and everything. That goes up onto, we've got the, um, the bit of uh, anti-tangle sleeving there which is also being used to cover the uh, quick release swivel. That's tied straight onto the main line, that's 15 pound main line. And on there we have a lead clip system with a two, two and a half ounce um, pair of lead. That's it. Nothing more than that. So you can see when people, when you watch all of these YouTube videos and everything with regards to rigs, how complicated they can be and everything along those lines. Um, that has done the business for me on my last three or four outings. Um, I've got Ronnie rigs, I've got helicopter rigs, I can do chod rigs and this, that and the other, but at the moment, dead on the bottom, no pop-up, um, uh, I've been using, today I've been using a CC more, or yesterday I was using the CC more live system, um, just the standard boilies out of a one kilo bag, um, with a PVA stick um, of live system pellet from the session pack. Um, I've chucked a little bit of um, four mil halibut pellets in there and a little bit of dusty ground bait as well, just to give it a bit of cloud as it goes down. But um, that's just been done onto the worst tied PVA stick I've got left at the moment. Um, boily on, PVA stick on, and that is doing the damage. Um, as the channel is called Budget Fishing, you'll see that that is as simple and as easy a rig setup as you can get. Um, so yeah. Any questions then feel free to ask, but um, it's been working so far. So now everything is out and uh, set for the uh, for the morning. I'll have a quick walk around and uh, show you what I can without going too far from my rods. Receivers are in my pocket at the moment, so um, yeah, I'm not going to go a million miles. But um, as you can see, sort of walking around, I'm on peg four, which is the back end of the lake. There's peg five, six. 
and the N2 are for day fishing only. Seven and eight are for day fishing only. So they've got that side over there. My swim has got the channel there between the two islands. Um, because there's nobody in peg five at the moment, I can use uh, the whole of the channel and go to the left-hand side. Um, if you look with um, how it's set though, if someone was in peg five, obviously you are then uh, limited to just the right-hand side of that channel. Um, got a couple of other people who are asleep down there at the moment, hence the reason I'm being a bit quiet. There's a gate down the end to get into this side of the, uh, of the lake. There's another eight swims on the other side that you may be able to see. Um, running all the way up into that far corner. Um, and in that bottom corner down there is the car park. So you've got to either walk all the way around that way to get your stuff onto this side. Or there is a very, very muddy track on that side uh, coming through the gate and uh, come onto this side. Um, so yeah, that's a brief overview. The fish in here go up to and around the £30 mark. Apparently there are two or three known 30s. Um, a couple of questionables from people who had uh, slings and stuff when weighing. But um, yeah, last night I had the £11.2. 11 I had the, um, I had a second one which was, it was a little bit smaller, it felt smaller, it looked a little bit smaller so I didn't bother weighing it, it was half past three in the morning, it was freezing cold so I just got it straight back. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that is Avalon at the moment, um, I don't know the head of fish in here, but uh, at a couple of acres in size, it should have a decent sort of head of everything, um, there's plenty of fish showing, it's now just, yeah, the fun is obviously trying to get them. So, time now, quarter to 11, got about an hour and 15 minutes left uh, of this session. Very quiet so far this morning, it's lovely and warm, there's been a couple cruising around on the surface which have had uh, baits thrown at them, but uh, to no avail. Um, they were freebies thrown out, uh, the lines have stayed pretty much where they are, but uh, they're not interested in the freebies that went out, so haven't changed tactics so far. Um, but at the moment, as you can see, it is lovely and sunny, lovely and warm, down to the t-shirt, which is a happy days, first time in a, in a little bit of time that I've been able to go down to this sort of a layer, but um, yeah, fingers crossed, got an hour and a bit left, everything's dry after yesterday, um, the only thing that I'm gutted is still dry is the uh, cradle and the net, but um, still time. Still time, still feeling positive, uh, fingers crossed, uh, we'll get something before the end of today. So, just got back from Avalon, uh, end of the 24 hour session, just jumped out of the bath, uh, felt like I needed a freshen up, it was one of those, uh, it was hot and sticky today, so um, yeah, definitely wanted to freshen up before I'd done this. Um, nothing else happened, it was one of those um, mornings where uh, the sun came out, the fish started basking on the surface. Threw a couple of freebies out to them on top, um, absolutely nothing happening. As I had to vacate the swim by 12 o'clock, it was, uh, I didn't feel fancy setting up again at, uh, or sort of resetting at about half past 10 onto zigs or anything like that um, to try and get anything to happen. So sadly, it was only the two, um, one of which you've uh, hopefully seen by now. But um, yeah. Um, with regards to these videos, this is only my second session one. The first one, I didn't have enough battery charge to turn around and actually do much on the lakeside. Um, if there's anything that you would like to see more of, you didn't like, um, any tips, hints, requests, or anything like that you'd like to see if I do a session video again, um, please leave them in the comments. Um, I'm open to ideas. That's, uh, that's what this whole thing's about, I suppose. Um, also got the Instagram channel, if you're not already following it, it is budget.fishin, without the uh, G, it's F-I-S-H-I-N. Um, annoyingly, there was a, that was the only thing I could get that was close to it. Um, not as much reviews on there, but sort of just pictures and bits and pieces and uh, and whatnot of uh, days out and the equipment that uh, is being used. So give that a, a follow, don't, um, and then leave any comments that you want. But um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I, well, there'll be probably be a couple of weeks now before I get out again due to work and whatnot. So, um, but fingers crossed it won't be long before I'm back out on the bank and, uh, tight lines to all of you. Take care.